Jennifer Lee and Drew Robson belong to a new generation of research group leaders at the Max Planck Institute for Biological Cybernetics in Tübingen. A few months ago, they left Harvard for Germany to continue their career at the Max Planck Society. They recently achieved a breakthrough in uncovering a switch-like mechanism that flips the brain between two motivational states. They discovered the mechanism in larval zebrafish, a model organism in neuroscience. This was possible with a unique invention of their own development, a tracking microscope. Before we developed the tracking microscope, we always had to make a difficult choice. On the one hand, we could observe the natural behavior of the animal, but with limited access to its brain. And on the other hand, we could comprehensively record the neural activity throughout the brain, but in a restrained animal with a restricted set of behaviors. With the tracking microscope, we no longer have to make that choice. We can now just let our fish swim freely in a natural environment while they're foraging for prey or just exploring the world. But at the same time, we can comprehensively record neural activity throughout the brain. Using their tracking microscope, they can study zebrafish behavioral phenomena, such as switching brain states in the animal's natural environment. When we looked at the data, what jumped out at us was that the fish was spontaneously flipping between two completely different internal brain states. And we call these exploration and exploitation. In the exploitation state, the fish are very attentive and effective hunters. And this completely changes in the exploration state. Then the fish swims all over the place, but shows almost no interest in prey. Their discovery may be understood like an electrochemical clock in the brain. We identified a cluster of serotonergic neurons that may act as a central regulator of brain state. These neurons had really interesting dynamics. They rise rapidly and decay slowly over multiple minutes. And what was really striking to us was that the changes in these signals correlated precisely to the changes in the behavioral state of the animal. There's evidence that this mechanism for switching brain state is actually preserved throughout evolution. A simple version of this state switch we know exists in worms to control their movement states. And a more complex version may coordinate changes in internal brain states in mammals, including possibly humans. Jennifer Lee and Drew Robson recently published their findings in Nature, the world's leading multidisciplinary science journal. Despite this success, the two scientists are already working on the next project, another invention in the field. We think of this work as just the tip of the iceberg, a starting point for understanding the full complexity and dimensionality of internal brain states.